Hello, I just want to show you around my uh, latest project. Um, it's my own barn. It's a 300 year old, well, the original bit's a 300 year old, uh, and it's an old saw pit, wheelwright saw pit. Anyway, uh, I'm insulating the whole thing with hemp light earth, which is a bit like hempcrete, but it uses a clay binder instead of a lime binder. I'll take you up top and show you the bits I've done so far. So this is one side of the roof. Um, this has been up here about a week. It's drying nicely. The um, the these these buttons are just two by two buttons. They're just to give me a, a line to go to with the sprayed hemp. And the these buttons are just for me to walk on. They'll come off. And after after this is all dry, it will get a um, see over there cork boards. Anyway, I've made these little uh, things here, so when it starts to rain, I just take the baton out and it rolls down the roof. Because the last thing I want is a rain on it. And there, I'll take you inside and I'll show you how I'm shuttering the underside. So if we just head up here. Obviously, with clay binder, you need to dry. It needs a little drying, so I've got these three pretty cool fans. Um, so the underside is just shuttered with cardboard. So I've stapled cardboard up, and they're attached to the original tile battens. So this side where I've taken the cardboard off, this is the dry side. These are all the tar buttons that I've left on. And then I'll just plaster that once it's all dry and the roof's on. So you get to see the lovely old beams or rafters. And the roof structure's pretty much original. It's got this lovely truss. And this truss is open like that because they used to store wood. After they cut the wood up downstairs, they used to store it up here and in this one. And that old beam at the back is a reclaim that's not even original. I mean, it's, it's, it's original from this building, but it was originally in a building before this building, as you can see by the old join holes. Anyway, I want to show you something that I'm pretty pleased with. This is my contraption for drying stubborn bits. So I've got a bouncy castle fan, and this is one of those bolt bags that has the chute at one end and a long opening at the top. And then staple it with a troublesome bit, there was a bit of mould up there. And that will dry, this is about 75 mil thick, and it will dry that through in about six hours. So if you get little troublesome patches, I've just been uh, connecting that. Anyway, I'm gonna take you down and show you the machine I'm using to spray it. So this is the 3CM French machine by Denis Vince Vincent, very clever, very clever chap. And this is the hemp box. So in there I've got the clay binder going around nicely. Here's Dad who runs the machine for me. Say hello, Dad. Hello. Where's my cup of tea? <laughs> Pam, Dad wants a cup of tea. Um, so the binder starts off in here. So I've just put uh, clay powder and water in there. Uh, and I'm sort of, I'm trialing it at the minute because it's the first time I've ever done it. So I can't tell the exact ratio till I finish. I'm trying a few different ratios. It gets tipped over into here and then it gets pumped up to the lance uh, and you have compressed air delivered down that blue hose and uh, the red hose is for electrics for controls and then this is the hemp box where the hemp goes in dry and the hemp gets pumped up that white hose so you have dry hemp there wet binder liquid binder there and then blue hose compressed air red line is controls so I'll take you up to the business end and show you what happens up there. 
So I'm doing the, this is the other side of the roof than I showed you a bit earlier. So I've done a little bit on here already and that's where I finished yesterday. So you can see the cardboard there that I'm spraying onto and the old tile battens and the old rafters below. And then I've just gone over with these ones to give me a guide to height and in, in, then they'll be strengthening the roof a bit as well. And then these ones are just to walk on. But here's the lance. So what happens up here is, uh, you have, the hemp comes out dry through here and the binder shoots out these three little nozzles wet and it gets blasted by the compressed air and uh, it mixes in the air as it travels to hit the shuttering. So I'll set you up and I'll turn it on and, and show you. So uh, this is what happens at this end. Turn my binder on, switch her on. And then it just comes out like that. Anyway, enough talking, I've got a roof to hemp. So I've literally just finished that section. Um, it's been like what, half an hour, if that. Um, it's quite, obviously it's not that neat free spraying on a roof, but um, I'll take off the high points and it will look more like up there. And then once it's properly dry, I'll scratch it back um, with a long scraper right back to the rafters. So it's all nice and neat. So yeah, that's, uh, what would we call it? Light hemp, light hemp earth spraying. And um, it's probably worth saying that the cardboard inside, I'm going to mash up and put in my plasters, so that'll be reused. All the bits of hemp on the floor will get picked up and they're going to go in an internal wall. They'll be hand cast in an internal wall so that there's no waste. And the clay itself is waste from one of my other sites, um, from the foundation dig. So, um, that's pretty cool. Um, I'll be doing lots of vi other videos. Um, I'll keep you updated on this build because it's my own one. I'm going to be trying out lots of new things. And I'll let you know if this dries or if it goes all mouldy and I have to take it all out. Uh, but we'll see.